Hey folks, first things first, my bony old ass ain't going anywhere. Here's how it unfolded, which is going to sound very familiar to many of you. My flight to Atlanta was booked for April 3rd, plans to begin hiking on April 4th. I had a job booked in New York for April, March 31st. It called and canceled as a result of you know what. That opened up a few days in my calendar, so I rescheduled my flight to go to Atlanta on the 31st to begin hiking on the 1st. Then another job called and canceled, then another, then another, then another, and before I knew it, the last two weeks of March just evaporated. So I canceled my March 31st flight and began making plans to rent a car and drive there as early as March 20th, begin hiking on the 21st. I wasn't worried about catching you-know-what on the trail, but I was worried about the logistics of resupply and hostel or hotel room availability. Then the letter from the president of the ATC arrived inviting hikers to stand down. If you haven't started your hike, please don't, and if you have, please consider suspending it. They cited both the logistical resupply and hostile issues, as well as the potential threat that asymptomatic carrying hikers might be exposing to the good folks in the trail towns. I've been watching the Facebook groups and knew this was becoming a contentious issue within the community, and as we all know, once social media begins lighting torches, the best policy is to just freaking hide. Ultimately, it made no sense for someone as old as me. Did I mention I'm older than the Ten Commandments? The movie, not the actual tab of thingy. Anyway, I represent a demographic that you know what seems to like a lot. And even though I have no underlying conditions that many my age might have, it was still a risk I didn't need to take and possibly put others in danger of being exposed to. So here I was, looking forward to doing the absolute most irresponsible thing I've ever done in my life, hiking the AT, and I had to reevaluate and do the responsible thing after all. Damn it. It was a soul-crushing decision, but not the end of the world. Financially, this would be the perfect time to take a five-month hiatus from work, because for the next several months, my business is going to be non-existent anyway. But... I feel an obligation to listen to the experts and follow the advice of the ATC. It's my choice and you're free to make yours. You'll get no judgment from me. I don't even own a torch. Now, if you know what dies down before the end of summer, I may go up and knock, down a, knock out a week or, uh, or two long section because, well, hiking is fun. And plans for a through hike attempt will just have to wait until next year at the earliest. In the meantime, be smart. Never let you know what steal your sense of humor. I wanted to put this video out there so anyone who subscribed after my last video would at least know what my plans were. Thanks for watching and happy trails.